Hi, this is Ralph, and in this video I just wanted to uh, quickly answer a user's question about using multiple backgrounds on a particular element, or on a web page for that matter. So what I've done here, uh, in Photoshop, I just quickly made a couple of gradient uh, images. Okay, So I've got a vertical oriented one that is yellow, gray, uh, that fades into transparency, blue from the right fades into transparency, and a red from the left fades into transparency. And I want to use all three of these different images as background images on a particular web page. So for my setup here, jump over to my editor here, I've got a blank, pe uh, blank page created, Give myself some room to work, and I'm probably just going to use some internal styles for this one so I won't even use an external style sheet. In fact, let me go ahead and prep for that. There we go. So I'll use some internal styles. And in the body of the page, I'm going to create three divs, um, each one containing the other. So I'll go ahead and do my first div. And just to be very descriptive, I'll call this one uh, red. And then within that, I'll have another div, yellow. And within that, blue. There we go. So now I've got three div containers uh, all within each other. And now it's simply a matter of setting individual background images for each of these divs. And divs block elements, they'll naturally take up as much space as possible. So although it's going to look like I've got my background images on the, on the uh, body of the page, really they're on these divs, which happen to be as wide as the body. So let me go ahead and save this and scroll up a little bit to my CSS. I will, so I will go ahead and set a reset rule for all elements, margin zero pixels, padding zero pixels, and then I can start to control these various divs. And I'll go ahead and set a background image, red gradient, there we go. So for my red div, I'm going to go ahead and set a background image, red gradient, and let's see, I'll go ahead and put in background repeat. I'm just going to do a repeat Y. Okay. So basically that'll repeat on the vertical axis. Okay. And I'm just going to go and pause with that for a moment and let's kind of see how things are looking. Let me go ahead and save this and I've already got it opened up. Here's my blank page. Let's go ahead and refresh this. Oh, and there's nothing here to see. So let's see. Let me jump back over here and let me also put in some height. How about uh, 600 pixels for now? And there we go. So now I've got my red gradient background on that first div. I'm going to go ahead and repeat this process pretty similar for my blue background. So I'm going to go ahead and just copy and paste this rule. Of course, this will be for the blue. The height is fine. Background image, it needs to be my blue gradient. I do want to repeat Y, but check this out for a moment just so we can see how this is going to cause me a little bit of grief. See that by default they're showing up there in the top left corner and repeating downward. So I actually want to alter my background position a bit here. Background position, I'm going to put 100% 0. Okay, And this will basically tell the browser that I want this background to be over on the, si on the far right side. So when you're using these two units of measurements here, the first unit is for the left and right horizontal axis, and then the top and the bottom. So by default it's already at the top, so I could just put a 0 in there, or 0px, or 0%, and that's fine. So now my background position for my blue is over here on the right. And just to finish this off, I'm going to go and create one more. And this will be for the yellow div. So I'll simply put in yellow. Height isn't too critical. I can go and keep it at 600. I still would have something, but it wouldn't have to be as big as that. Background image is going to be the yellow gradient. Background repeat is this time it's going to be repeat X along the horizontal axis. And technically I don't need background position, so I can take that one out. So red is going to repeat down the left, blue is going to repeat down the right, yellow is going to repeat across the top. Back over to the browser, refresh, 
and there we go so now I've got my gradients now as you can see it looks like my yellow is a bit on top of the uh, the blue here maybe the blue is a little bit on top of the yellow or you know so we could always play around with this and we can make sure that the yellow is on top of the blue simply by changing the orientation of those divs